Earlier today, Charles Hoskinson, the founder of Cardano, posted, it was a good day. And there he is at SpaceX. Too much speculation going right now surrounding Cardano for me not to do a video. It wasn't on my agenda, but we're going to discuss some of these things. And we're also going to look at Cardano charts. It's primed. It's ready. More so than I would have ever anticipated at this moment of the cycle. So please hit the subscribe, hit the like on the way in, and let's just jump into it. So let's backtrack just for a moment. And then we're going to really zoom into the short-term speculation that's going on today. As you know, this was four days ago. Cardano founder Charles Hoskinson confirms crypto advisor role under Trump. Charles has sparked discussions after confirming plans to support the U.S. government under Donald Trump to help shape crypto legislation. And I wanted to point this part out in the article. In his strategy, Charles Hoskins has said that IOG will hire for its new policy or policy office by early 2025. This is a serious matter. So I just want to firm up that point. This news is legit, okay? So with that being said, we step into today. And actually, this was a post from Plutus yesterday. Soon the normies will connect the dots on the Charles and Elon Musk collab that is aiming to build out the future fabric of finance on X with Cardano as the base layer. And then, here's where things got crazy. This is Sean over here, and this is on X. Look at this. President Trump and the upcoming Department of Government Efficiency are exploring a federal blockchain-based election voting and identity verification system. According to sources familiar with the matter, the system will be built in partnership between X, Cardano, Hyperledger, and Hedera. Legislation will federally require all states to implement the e-vote platform to ensure election integrity across all of the United States. According to the source, and this is what gets me, because I'm in my mind, I'm just like, what's the source? President Trump insists on implementing a system to eliminate voter fraud as he fears foul play in 2028. So many people have been saying this for so long. Get blockchain on board when it comes to elections, free and fair elections. And as a fundamental value investor in Cardano, I'm a little biased, but Cardano is built for this. We already just saw in the recent weeks, Bitcoin OS integrating with Cardano because Cardano is built to do trustless things in a secure way, in a decentralized way. And so this just makes so much sense. And then you have... Charles posting this today. It was a good day. And then you have a lot of speculation going on. Cardano and SpaceX partnership. Charles spent an entire day at the SpaceX site. Did he talk to Elon? Is Ada going to the moon? I just love it. I want to point something out on this post though. Um, if you scroll down a little bit, actually it wasn't this post. It was, where was it? Right here. No, it was on Charles post. Sorry. Look at this. Ada Ape, because this is the thought. This is my thought. Starting to look an awful lot like the reason Ada pumped harder than anything else after the election is that someone knew something about its ties to the Trump administration. It does just seem that way. And I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know if that's what's going on here or not, but it really does seem that way. A buddy texted me. I want to also make a note of this. We were texting about it. I sent him the, the Mintern post and I was just like, oh, snap. And then he said, he said he was signing the biggest deal he's ever seen in his live chat last week, but under NDA. Guess we'll see what they've been cooking soon. That's a really good point. Charles did say that, and I thought that really integrates nicely into everything that we're seeing. There's, there can be so much speculation. Nobody knows what exactly is going on, but it is very fun to speculate. And really the way in which all of these things, these moving parts are coming together Maybe we're wrong about some things. Maybe, maybe it's not exactly what we're all maybe imagining, but I think it's pretty bullish. I think it's pretty bullish in terms of Cardano. And so in relation to Cardano, let's look at ADA on the price charts. It's consolidating. And so I want to dissect the daily chart mainly. And I want to start actually with a video. This is, this is a very quick clip from when Cardano was pumping. I think it was Saturday evening. I got home. I was out with a fam and I did a live stream. I think that's this video. Check this post out real quick. Just a clip. Momentum oscillators, you can see what it looked like last cycle. Nice power move into overbought and then just cools down, right? So we go to where we are right now. We look at ADA making a nice power move. We're in overbought. How is it going to come down is the question. And the thing is, everybody, I'm sitting here saying anticipate calming down, cooling down, consolidating. But 
when we get into crypto bullish environments, okay, I'll stop there. But notice this, uh, ADA is approaching 52 cents at the time and it actually did go higher into the 60s, right? So, but the point is, the point that I was trying to hit home is playing out for us. What does the structure look like? What does the consolidation look like? Because it's getting overextended and it is necessary and is, it is almost mandatory. And if you go to this moment of last cycle, and I think that's what I was kind of using as an example, was ADA was making a very similar move almost at the same exact time, last November, or November 2020, right after the elections, a critical move. This is a daily chart, but it was making a move through the 20-week moving average. And then after overextension, it consolidated. And just to prepare ourselves even from the swing high to what, before it took off again, over a month, right? 39, 40 days before it really took off. So I just want to make that point. Because if you look at this chart now, and then you go back to the chart right now, here's where we are, right? We're, we're like not 40 days in from the swing high. And am I saying it's going to take 40 days before Cardano sees continuation? No, I'm just saying if it did, that's exactly what happened last cycle at this exact moment. And when, when I'm saying that, by the way, if I just change this daily chart to the weekly, just because just I, I have to just show it. The move that we're looking at on the daily is this move, right? This break above the 20 week. And I always do that. So it's this break above the 20 week. And then you go back to where we are right now. There it is. The break above the 20 week. And in this case, also the 50 week moving average, that blue line. Two days, 23 hours left. Really, really curious to see if we can close above that 50, that 50 week moving average around 46 cents. So Back to the daily though, let's, let's talk about this a little bit more because right now it still is the story of structure for me. I just really like seeing the fact that ADA has taken a break. It's a good thing. And even on the daily, you can see it's consolidated, but we're still in overbought. So just my quick thoughts as we're zooming out here, my quick thoughts are right now on this daily chart, we're seeing this little uptick on momentum we might get another swing high for ADA and, and that could be very nice. We could, we could push into the seventies even, and this is a speculation, but the way I'm seeing the, the momentum oscillator, and then we're going to talk about downside because downside is very much in play, but a swing high, some type of higher high into the 70 to 80 cent area. And then this RSI is what I'll be watching. If that happens, are we getting a lower high on the RSI, some bearish divergence that could signal this type of consolidation, there we go again, and I'm not editing it, <laughs> this type of consolidation that we saw in last cycle. The question is, which one, right? Is it one more swing high and then consolidation, or is it consolidation now? Or is it just sideways into the moving averages? Very bullish setup. Either way, eight is looking incredibly bullish. We got our break out of this busted symmetrical triangle. We hit our target. Have to kind of cancel that symmetrical triangle out. It is done. It was useful for all of that consolidation that ADA had. And now we're just analyzing, waiting to see what ADA's next move is. A lot of this does have to do with, you know, what are traditional markets doing tomorrow? What's Bitcoin doing tomorrow? What's the vibe in crypto? Along the way in the bull markets, this applies to ADA and other crypto charts. We're going to have pumps and then we're going to cool off and we're going to have big dips, right? ADA had a, a red week, a red daily candle, but it really wasn't that harsh. Right now, ADA's hanging out around 60 cents. It's in, it's in pretty nice, comfortable territory. We haven't had really a pain scenario. You can see it dipped into the lower 50s. The total dip from swing high to that, that wick right there, 20%, but doesn't feel that painful in terms of even a bull market dip. So I'm anticipating potential for more consolidation sideways, even down. Let the moving averages... It, just kind of the 20-day 20 moving, average, 20 moving average in green pull up into Cardano before going higher. Same thing with the 50. We're waiting for that 50-day moving average to cross above the 200, that red one. So a lot is going on down here with those moving averages, and we're just anticipating potential big throwback or just pulling into the moving averages. Either way, if we get the move to the upside, the question I will be looking at on the short term if it happens, what is the RSI doing? So these are my thoughts on this speculative Cardano video, a lot of bullish things happening. We haven't talked about n just nearly enough. This is just kind of new stuff as of today. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below, everybody. I appreciate you. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, turn the notifications on. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.